Okay, so I'm going to the doctor's. After the doctor's appointment, we're gonna head home and we gotta hurry and head home because then I'm interviewing my friend Jeanette, who's, I've done an interview with her before so you guys can check out a previous episode um, with Jeanette. She's a real estate agent, but she's also a broker and she has lots of offices in Southern California. And she's gonna come on and do a training for the Millionaire S Society, but I'm gonna um, interview her again and get like just um, really in depth on how it works if you want to grow a real estate team because I have a lot of people that follow me that are real estate agents and so I want to give them some value in the society and then we're also going to talk about how um, flipping and real estate investing can really set you up for wealth so she's going to give us some tips on how to get started doing that how much money you need what your credit score needs to be so I'm excited to talk to her about that after that we will be doing live coaching in my millionaire society so uh, Millionaire S Society is my membership group and um, I try to take on at least four people every Wednesday and coach them. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes and so it's not like a normal you know strategy session with me. It's like a very condensed like um, wham bam thank you ma'am type thing. Get you out and have you get focused on at least three things to change your business and um, yeah so that's what we have going on today and then I have Galentine's tonight. So I'll be getting ready for that. I also have a photo shoot tomorrow that I have to like to get some stuff ready for. Um, and then I have to take Charlie and Cooper to gymnastics today. Not Cooper, Channing. 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 Cooper's leaving, going to Colorado. Um, so yeah, so Chase and Cooper will be gone. So we got a busy jam packed day and I'm excited. Catch a stick or a puck? Puck. Oof. You pretty tired? Um, yeah. Well, because we never found the Epstein Bar Virus in you, but we did today. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hold that resist. Good. Let me just do a little form again. Ashwagandha. Adrenal complex. No. Okay, you're set. Yeah, so this stuff doesn't taste very good. Do you have elderberry, elderberry syrup at home? Yeah. Put in elderberry syrup. Oh, yeah. why did you tell me to do that? Because <laughs> I just discovered it last week. I have 24 bottles coming today that they're making for me for people now. So. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah. Do you want to go first? Do you want your son to go first? Yeah, you want to go? Or do you want to see mommy do it? Okay. Hypothalamus, pituitary, brain, emotions, sinus, sinus, metals, thyroid, lungs, heart. Look at that. Like a rock. So in a blender, one and a half cups of frozen blueberries, two cups of water, a tablespoon of flaxseed oil. You need to go to Mother's or Sprouts and get it refrigerated so it's raw. Okay. Okay. And then you'll do two scoops of each powder. And that's vanilla. And you'll do heaping scoops of the powder. Okay. So take that same hand, two fingers like this, put them both in your belly button. So if your gut's pretty healthy, this will make your legs strong. Okay, hold that resist. Nope. Take your same two fingers right here. If you have worms, this will make your legs strong. Okay? Hold that resist. Nope. If your gut's just kind of inflamed and needs to be repaired, this will make your legs strong. Hold. See how strong it got? All right. Okay, okay so Ch Cooper's stuff is right here? Yep. That's it? Okay. You and Cooper back in a couple weeks. Okay. We're all fixed up. $1,000 later. Hey, uh, that's why you got to make a lot of money so you can take care of yourself. Isn't that crazy? $1,000? $1,000. Hi, millionaires! Yay! Go over to the chat section if you guys have specific questions you want to ask Jeanette about building a team, building a sales team, um, and investing in real estate. I want you guys to put it over in the chat section so that way it'll make me make it easier and I don't forget any of the questions you guys have. Oh, okay. I was on mute. Okay. It was amazing. Um, I was in there for, well, I was really sitting down for two hours and 40 minutes and I know my energy levels. I was dead like 45 minutes ago, but I love it. I just wanna keep helping all these women because they're so hungry for change. And it's really hard because I have another thing at one o'clock. So I'm like, I gotta be done. I, I know I have to eat food before this, but like, um, anyways, it's really hard for me to say no to people. 
um, especially when they're hungry for change because I like matching energy for energy. But I also know if I would have taken another person right now, I wouldn't have been able to give them a good energy exchange because I needed to like refuel um, and take a break because helping four people, like having their emotions, I'm an empath, I take on all emotions. And so it's like, I gotta go and cleanse myself and move my body afterwards. But um, I love it because right now we just helped four women really work on their businesses. A lot of times people think um, it's more strategy that they need in their business. And most of the times it's actually a perspective shift that they need. And so I think I helped every woman have a different look on their business uh, and that could be really helpful for them. So I can't wait to see. Most of the people are gonna come check back in one of the girls we had on today, I had her on when I first started this group in June, and she's been able to really transform her business into a multi-million dollar agency. And we talked about it because she's kind of like upper limiting right now because all of her dreams are coming true and she's wanting to self-sabotage. So it was great to like follow up with her, see like, hey, look, from your first session, you've come so far, let's not like get you into self-sabotage mode. Let's teach you some things you can do in order to, um, you know, basically be more aware of about your sabotage sabotaging behavior. So yeah, that's what we did. I'm really excited and I have to record two podcasts right now. So that's, I got to get some fuel and then I got to record some podcasts because then I have to go pick up the kids. Yay! It actually doesn't taste that bad. It's very... It, it feels like dirt's in my mouth. That's what it feels like, but it doesn't taste like dirt. That's good. Mm. So, this is all I can eat for 21 days. Let's get let's get every drop. What? How am I gonna not eat for 21 days? Oh, I'm gonna cheat tonight already. I already know. Oh, these new pills. Mm. They're a special kind of funky. <laughs> Here. Why am I having such a hard time? All right, so you guys know I'm doing no caffeine and I am obsessed with the Beekeeper's Brain Fuel Oil. It's just like a little shot. It gives you mental clarity and it's almost seven o'clock. I've been going since 5.30 a.m. this morning and this mama is feeling a little, so this is gonna wake me up and get me ready for Galentine's tonight. I always use it when I need to get like focused and get excited. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Channing, are you gonna no. miss me? No. Oh, great, perfect, I'm leaving out the door. Hey, Charlie, I love you. You wanna say hi? Hi. Okay, and look who's coming with me. My little tag along. I'm here. <laughs> All right, this was truly a complete day in the life of Kayla Craft. And we started off with getting this kids to school, taking care of my health, and then we did a little bit of work. Then we went back to doing some stuff for the kids. And now, of course, we gotta get in friend time as well. And one of the biggest things I want you guys to take away from my life is that all of these things that I do are completely scheduled way ahead of time. A lot of people say, oh, I wanna live a free life and I want to have time freedom but the only way that you experience true freedom and happiness and fulfillment in your life is if you make sure all of your priorities are scheduled into your daily life so that way you could feel in alignment with everything that's important to you you can't just let the day pass you by or you will get nothing done so I hope you guys got inspired by my day if I can do this much in a day you can too I promise you that so thanks you guys so much for following along with my day comment below and tell me what you guys learned from the day what did you guys love what kind of questions do you have do you want me to you know dig even deeper on a certain part of my schedule so you guys can learn and grow and be better moms and better human beings and um, we're in this together and I just want to say thank you so much again now I gotta go be in there with my galentines before the cheese board is gone bye guys Thank <laughs> you.